In this video, we're going to be looking at some ideal op amps. We're going to find the voltage gain or V out over V in and the input resistance of each of the circuits. Here's our first circuit. First, let's note that from the concept of the virtual ground, the potential at the inverting terminal is equal to the potential at the non-inverting terminal. So V positive will equal V negative. The voltage at the non-inverting terminal is at zero. Therefore, both of these are zero. This is because the current is flowing in this direction. So let's find the voltage gain. We'll start by applying Kirchhoff's current law at this node. We'll call this node V2. Going into this node is the current I1. And coming out of the node in this direction is the current I2. And let's go ahead and call this 20k ohm resistor R1. And we'll call this 100k ohm resistor R2. So looking at this, we can see that the value of I1 is equal to the value of I2. And since current is equal to the voltage over the resistance, we can write I1 as V input minus V2 right here over R1. We can also write this as V in minus V at the negative terminal over R1. And since V negative is zero, our I1 is just V in over R1. For I2, we can write this as V2 minus V out, V2 minus V out over R2, V2 is zero. We can write this as negative V out over R2. So now we have V in over R1 is equal to negative V out over R2. We can rearrange this and we can get V out over V in is equal to negative R2 over R1. V out over V in is our voltage gain. So gain is equal to negative R2 over R1. We have R1, we have R2, so now we can just fill in our values. So we get gain is equal to negative 100 times 10 to the third power ohms over 20 times 10 to the third power ohms. That's going to give us a voltage gain of negative 5. So we have our gain. Now let's find the input resistance. First, let's determine the current flowing through R1. That's going to be I1. So I1 will equal V in minus V2 over R1. We know from before that V2 is zero. So I1 is equal to V in over R1. We'll rearrange to get R1 is equal to V in over I1 since resistance is equal to voltage over current. And the input resistance is actually equal to the input voltage over current one. So this is equal to the input resistance. And that's gonna be 20 K ohms. Now that was kind of obvious. You could have even just guessed that the input resistance was 20 K but I thought it was important to show conceptually the idea behind it. So we found our gain, we found input resistance, 
Let's move on to the next problem. Here is our next circuit. Again, due to the virtual ground, since our positive terminal here, we'll call V1, is zero, the voltage at the negative terminal, we'll call V2, is also zero. So again, let's apply Kirchhoff's current law at node V2. We have I1 going into the node and I2 going out of the node. Just like before, these two currents are equal. And I1 can be written as Vn minus V2 over R1. And this is R1, this is R2. I2 will be equal to V2 minus V out over R2. V2 is zero. So we have V in over R1 is equal to negative V out over R2. We can rearrange and get V out over V in is equal to negative R2 over R1. V out over V in is our gain. And we have our R2 and R1 values. So again, for this problem, we're going to get a gain of negative 5. And for our input resistance, just like in the first problem, we're going to get 20,000 ohms. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here's our next circuit. So you see I labeled I1, I2, and I3. We still have zero voltage at the positive and negative terminals. We'll label this node as V2. Now let's apply Kirchhoff's current law here at this node. So we'll solve for I1. That's going to equal I2 plus I3. I1 kind of splits off here. So again, I1 we can write as V in minus V2 over R1. For I2, we can write that as V2 minus the output voltage over R2. And for I3 down here, that's just going to be V2 over R3. R3 is right here. So we know V2 is going to be 0. So we're going to be left with V in over R1 is equal to negative V out over R2 plus 0. We'll rearrange and get V out over V in is equal to negative R2 over R1, which leaves us with a gain of negative 100,000 ohms over 20,000 ohms, which is negative 5. Once again, our input resistance is going to be 20,000 ohms, just like the last two problems. We'll do one more problem. Will we get the same answers as the previous three? Let's find out. Here's our last circuit. Now from the diagram, we see that I3, right here, is going to equal 0 amps. We can determine the voltage at this non-inverting terminal, the positive side, if we set V1 equal to I3 times R3. 
and that's just Ohm's law. I3 is zero, so this whole thing is zero. So we can confirm that I1 is zero, and due to the virtual ground, the potential at the inverting terminal is equal to the potential at the non-inverting terminal. So they're both going to be equal to zero. So again, let's apply Kirchhoff's current law at node B2. It's basically going to state that I1 is equal to I2. I1 can be written as V in minus V2, which is zero, over R1. I2 can be written as V2, which is zero, minus V out over R2. We rearrange to get V out over V in is equal to negative R2 over R1, which means that our gain will be minus 100 K ohms over 20 K ohms, once again giving us a value of negative 5 for our voltage gain. And our input resistance will be, once again, 20,000 ohms. So we did four problems with four different op amps, and we got the same answers for all four of them. I thought it was important to go through those to show the concepts behind finding these values. I hope you got something out of this video, and thank you for watching.